CB News at 10 after filing a federal lawsuit claiming Gastonia police violated his civil rights. The lawsuit was filed by Joshua Rohrer nearly two years after his arrest in Gastonia. And that lawsuit accuses Gastonia police of excessive force and harassment. A WCCB Charlotte, Trish Williford is live in Gastonia tonight. And Trish Rohrer says that he wants to see changes within the department. Yeah, and he believes nothing has changed within Gastonia Police Department since his arrest. Rohrer says he is often harassed on the department's Facebook page. Joshua Rohrer says it's a day that still haunts him nearly two years later. They took away my ability to function uh, because they took away sunshine. So now I've been training justice uh, to try and get her to the level uh, of a functioning service dog. Now, Rohr has filed a federal lawsuit following his arrest by Gastonia police in October of 2021. Rohr was out with his service dog near a shopping center on Cox Road in Gastonia. At the time, Rohr, who's an Army veteran, was homeless and living in a tent. Police charged him with panhandling and resisting arrest after someone called the police. That encounter ignited a firestorm of controversy because during that arrest, an officer shot Rohr's service dog, Sunshine, with a taser. The dog was hit by a car and died while on the loose when Rohr was locked up. A judge later released police body cam video of Rohr's arrest, and the district attorney dropped charges against him after a plea deal. There's a lot of civil rights violations that happened to Joshua, the arrest, the excessive force, and then the year-long campaign of disparagement, defamation, and bullying that the city has engaged in through its official police department page. The lawsuit also accuses the city of Gastonia of subjecting Roar to a relentless campaign of harassment, abuse, and defamation through taunting public comments through the Gastonia Police Department's Facebook page. The lawsuit names the city of Gastonia, police officer Sierra Brooks and Maurice Taylor III, as well as Rick Goodell, the public information officer for Gastonia Police. I spent months reading those comments and it kept me up uh, all hours the night. I lost a lot of sleep from that, got a lot of depression from that. The, the key harm that Joshua experienced was, of course, the tragic events of October 13th. But the fact that the city won't let it go. I'm hoping it brings about change and they realize that um, what they're doing is wrong. What they did was wrong. And the city of Gastonia is responding to that lawsuit tonight, saying, quote, the city is aware of the lawsuit filed by Mr. Rohr, and we are reviewing the details of the filing. It is not city policy to comment on pending litigation. The city has not been served with the lawsuit. The city's answer to the complaint will be filed in due course. Now, Rohr's attorney is requesting a jury trial as well as monetary damages. Gary. And Trish Rutherford reporting live in Gastonia tonight, Trish. Thank you.